I appreciate your patience. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying earlier, uh, this is the end of the session year, uh, and uh, the IT subcommittee wanted to give a end of session year report. And uh, most of what's been happening in the IT subcommittee is really related to the IT audit report, which was delivered to the whole budget committee on December 20th meeting. I'm sure that some of you tried to read it and maybe had some problems understanding it, and so that's what this presentation is for, uh, primarily to uh, provide uh, a higher level overview of the report, uh, gain a better insight into the budgetary considerations uh, of possible management decisions that will be born from that report. Uh, we don't know what those decisions will be yet because they haven't made them as far as I know. Um, we bring focus on the key recommendations in the report as well and, and just open up a conversation about it. Uh, so that's the purpose of, of this uh, presentation. Of course, the budget will be driven by Selectman's policy as well as town management's imp implementation strategy as well as the costs of hardware and software and associated labor costs in implementing. It is noted in the uh, IT report and I concur that the current technical staff that we have uh, has demands on it from support issues that inhibit them from being effective utilization of their skills. Uh, and, and, and that's one of the uh, highlighted points in the report is that they spend a lot of time in what we generally refer to as firefighting. It's not literal fires, but just, you know, emergencies right. constantly arising. You don't really have time to do much else, else other than put out those fires. So uh, you can expect that some degree of augmentation of that staff is likely to occur, so that's going to have a budgetary impact. Uh, again, we won't know to what extent until management decides and uh, how they're going to uh, implement some or all of the recommendations in the IT report. The key recommendations, as, as we saw it on the subcommittee, revolve around four areas, uh, business continuity, email system functionality, uh, information technology leadership, and data integration. I'm going to speak a slide or two, on mostly one slide, on each of these points. If anyone you have any questions as I go to from one slide to another, please jump in. On the business continuity side, this is the things that you need to keep your business running. In this case, the business is town government. And so we've got issues with network connectivity that was highlighted in the report, uh, environmental conditions like weather and uh, has caused uh, inhibition of the microwave links, for example, between the fire stations. And there was a suggestion or a recommendation in the report that need to be hide wired and, and I would speculate that probably needs to be done with fiber optic uh, cabling. Uh, so you can anticipate that uh, if management decides to address that particular issue, uh, that will have budgetary impacts that we will need to be sensitive to. Um, disaster recovery, um, basically the overview was that it said, you know, the business con continuity plan needs redevelopment essentially, needs a fresh new look at it from a variety of angles. And all this means is a business continuity plan is a fancy way of saying, what do we do to keep the business running while we're dealing with a disaster? D disaster could be anything from a hard drive failure to a, you know, an entire system crash, to the whole building burns down, to an earthquake, I mean, you name it. Uh, it has to be all considered. Uh, and to what extent you need to function just like an emergency management uh, that you would think of in a non-technical fashion. The technology that you need in an emergency, and what technology you need, how you're going to bring it to bear in a timely fashion. That's basically business continuity, okay? And that needs to be re-looked at according to the IT report. And uh, frankly, I've been in that space for a number of corporations in the past, and that needs to be looked at regularly, like yeah. at least yeah. annually, because things change. Mostly they change not just about technology, but they also change in terms of the organization's needs. Yeah. So those two have to be mapped together, the organization needs and the technology that's currently available. And of course, then there's the hardware reliability issue um, that's related to uh, it. We have aging server hardware and applications that they're calling for a potential replacement and upgrades or even decommissioning. And they're suggesting that virtual servers should be used. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, 
there was an IT Selectman's Committee that also made that suggestion five years ago. Um, and it, it does, in fact, provide an opportunity for much more cost effectiveness in terms of uh, hardware, both from PC and a server level. And um, in addition, with the cloud services having evolved to the point that they have, now, now that option is in play as well. The email functionality that was uh, discussed in the uh, IT audit report, the current system is not reliably functioning as needed. Mm -hmm. Emails are actually not being delivered. Mm -hmm. I think some of us on this body have had that experience. You're not talking about intentional blocking. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's not. That's what the IT report right. said. Emails are simply yeah. being dropped off. Right. Uh, you know, lost in, in, uh, in, the, in the space. They're just <laughs> not being delivered. <laughs> sending, sending me quote, sending messages with attachments is nearly impossible and excruciatingly slow no matter the size. <coughs> This kind of stuff where you cannot communicate with, within your organization causes serious uh, uh, cost implications, which of course affects money. Yep. They are recommending a, uh, a cloud uh, solution be looked into. Um, they actually said most businesses of your size, meaning the town of Hampton, with multiple departments are using uh, Microsoft Exchange slash 365, which is been on the table for discussion in, in the past uh, and hopefully we'll have a, a good plan coming forward this year and I really hope that uh, the budget committee will embrace that next next year's budget committee that is uh, because it's something that is hugely beneficial to moving this town forward in terms of its ability to be efficient and productive with the resources that the voters vote for them to have via their budget and warrant article votes. I'm not going to read all of the elements of these slides. I think you guys are quite capable of reading that. So, Next slide, if you don't have any questions on the email, if you do, uh, I should pause and go back. Now, are there any questions on the email issue or topic? Comments? Okay. Technology leadership. Now, the report actually called out as the most important thing is to hire an IT manager. And this is the most opinionated slide in my presentation because I thought it was like an oversimplified statement, a casual way of ca encapsulating into IT manager. But really what they're looking for is IT management. Again, this is an, the only opinionated slide in my presentation. When I say referencing to this uh, function with part-time labor, which I believe is also in the report, should not be taken uh, you know, with a, uh, uh, very seriously. It's possible to go to a part-time situation in this case after we've achieved sustainable high standards but we're not going to get to sustained high standards using uh, part-time right. uh, force, whether it's a manager or, or even a technical leader. Uh, it's probably going to take a multi-year effort on a full-time basis to get to uh, higher standards that are sustainable. Any questions on this slide? Good. Oh. Uh, current staffing, uh, this is right off the report, and, and I'm in agreement with it fully. The IT staff is good, but they work in a reactive fashion. Yeah. And so we need to get them into the mode of being proactive. Uh, budget, there's that magic word right in that report. Yeah. That might have something to do with this committee. And lack of leadership, again, the leadership is really a technical leadership. It's, I don't consider that a slam on town management. It's simply that we don't have the technical leadership Any questions on that? No. Comments? Okay. Well, near the end, the data, the data is highly segregated in this environment. We have a lot of data, data, data uh, silos or isolated data that are not integrated at all. Yeah. It causes a lot of redundancies. As you can see, several employees and departments and overall processes in place that are not efficient, reliable, and wasting dollars daily for the staff and the taxpayers. Is that magic word dollars? And I think that has something to do with the budget committee. Data are being viewed at each department without the other even knowing about it. Forms are being re entered. Redundancy. Huge cost savings in time to, to get data integrated. You will have huge cost savings. And I know you know that to be true from your own experience, David. Uh, 
I, this is a generic thing that's that you correct. can put on just to every company that's, that's correct. out there. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Yeah. So we need to work with the selectmen to hire, hire an IT leader, yes. from my perspective, and work with so them. Be supportive that of that. take yes. over and support them. I'm Great. with that 100%. Great. Any questions or but comments? I'm working, on talking about working with the selectmen and doing this. That's exactly what I'm trying to do is foster an environment in which the budget committee can be well positioned to work with the selectmen and town manager and seeing that they get the funds needed to move forward and get these improvements as they see fit. So, any further comment or questions on this slide? Okay. Ah, an example. I have a very simple data example in terms of demonstrating, David, and I hope you'll tolerate this, um, of, of the kind of the power of uh, data integration. I think you've all gone onto uh, the Town of Hampton's website and looked up various things like videos and minutes and agendas and things of that nature. And eventually I will get my... I wish I hadn't had to change my computer. <laughs> I did not connect to the internet when I powered this up. That's all. Not a big deal. It's like a poltergeist. It is. <laughs> My computer gave up the ghost, so I can relate to that. Mm -mm. While he's doing that, I would just make a comment that this is not the budget committee that would be addressing this issue. There will be a new this budget a public committee meeting. voted in March, yeah. and this would be better served at the least if it were presented in some other time Listen, period. We got a full-time town manager, we got an assistant town manager, we got a full-time town council. We'll obviously have to hire another full-time IT person, so let's put the I would think one of the up. major roles, if you, so, I had a suggestion, yeah. might be I'd like the assistant manager to the town manager might just be one of his main arenas. Exactly. And, and when all he needs is technical leadership to support his managerial expertise. Right. Exactly what my opinionated yeah. slide was suggesting. The If you're going out to look at, uh, this is where you go. You go to the Town of Hampton website, yeah. and you go to uh, Town Docs, Agendas and Meetings, and say you want to go to the Board of Selectmen, you got to select them. But of course here, you're presented with what year you're dealing with and whether you want <coughs> minutes or agendas, okay? And this is all very rudimentary stuff, right? Each one of these basic directories are isolated. They're separated. They're separate from each other. There's no integration between them. So what I did was I put together this little website. You can go to it yourself, uh, meta, metacloudworks.com. And uh, here, if you just go to meetings, you will see a listing of meetings. Yeah, that's incredible what he did. Okay. Yep. Now, this data is actually coming off of the source. I'm actually scraping the data right off of the town website and incorporating it. So, for example, we've got a selectman's meeting here. If I click on the details, we can see that there are two documents, open agenda and draft minutes are out there. And there are three videos that, are, that, that have been produced uh, or made available, uh, which are right here. You can select either one of them and, and simply play them if you wish. Uh, and that's true for all of these meetings uh, that you see listed here. Right now I'm saying, oh, just give me the selectmen, or I can say just give me the board, of uh, the uh, budget committee, or, or what have you. Okay. Uh, and of course, I don't know what is beeping on my computer, but it's having a great time. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that the IT audit was not handed out to the public. There, there aren't piles of printouts of it, although maybe they should oh. be upstairs. So this is... You could literally search for all of them. You can see I've got 1,051 records here yeah. that's being loaded up. 
and by the way, this is only showing you 10 entries per page. You've got a paging thing, pagination going on here. Yeah, that's amazing. So you can amazing. select whatever page. It sorts by whatever column you want. You want to see which meetings had the most videos. You can just sort on that column that quickly. Um, this is just for TS, because I'm actually logged in here, and perhaps I shouldn't, so you can see the actual, uh, uh, what it looks like to normal people, so to speak. It's quite a resource. And this search box here will actually, you can type in anything, so if, if I want to type in, say, fire, you'll notice uh, nothing shows up on fire. Because I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with not videos, I'm dealing with meeting names. But if you just wanted to say, show me the selectman, you can see all the selectmen right there. Because it's looking at every column, if you wanted to say, just show me everything with a two slash in it, and I'll see all the February meetings regardless of the year. Okay. It's very fast, um, responsive, and integrated. And if you take a detail again to one of these guys that have documents like this is my favorite one because it has both documents and videos, um, I did not have time to actually fully implement the tagging feature for demonstration. Uh, but you can see I did incorporate it in places, but I, I hadn't been able to, I didn't have time to fully test it. I do not present things that are not fully tested. Um, what you're seeing now is actually up there on, on the web. It's metacloudworks.com. Everything you saw on the screen is coming off to that internet. Um, so, Tim, are you demonstrating the potential? Potential. Well, what, I'm, what I'm showing here is just a tiny example, a very tiny example of how much time you can save when data is integrated. Mm -hmm. If you're doing research for agendas, meetings, yeah. uh, minutes, and, uh, and videos, you, you got to go through a lot of exercise to find what you're looking for, and oftentimes you find that I forgot what I was looking for because I got lost looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. But when you have data integration, you can go right to what you're looking for. You don't lose your thought in terms of what, you, what your purpose is. You don't get distracted. Saving time. And, and that's, a, that's a powerful thing on a very small example of data integration. Yeah. If you expand that out to uh, more important data, uh, operational data, for example, uh, the the uh, it, it is an ex ex exponential effect in terms of productivity, and productivity means money. Yes. Ultimately. Yes. So that's what that was for. It was just an example of a uh, small example of how data integration can improve everyone's life and reduce costs. Time is money. Yeah, and with that, I'll, I'll just leave that up for now. Um, because you can actually see the IT audit report on that same website using that address, metaworks, metacloudworks.com slash home. On there, there's the IT audit report itself in textual form. And the PowerPoint slides of this presentation are there as well. And you can, of course, play with the uh, meetings as I just uh, showed you. Okay. Go ahead, Steve. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Jones, for this learning experience. I want to keep it in that context. I most certainly want to apologize if I seem to be criticizing or, or in any way um, doing anything but I, I, I simply want to make sure that I'm not trying to do anybody's job except my own, which is the budget committee, okay? This is the context of this. Perhaps we should have introduced it as this is for in education, mm -hmm. and it's being it's being broadcast on Channel 22, so it's an education for everyone in town. Thank you very much, Mr. Jones, for all of the work that you did, obviously putting this presentation together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, and I, and I concur. As you can see from my first slide, it's exactly what I said. We're looking at budgetary considerations. It's my opinion and your IT subcommittee's unanimous opinion that whatever management decides to do, in terms of implementing this IT report, uh, in terms of its recommendations, that the uh, IC subcommittee believes that the budget committee should be extremely open-minded because they're going to need money to make things happen. If this doesn't happen because we work harder. That's not going to do it. They're going to need resources to make it happen. And so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get that out there to people that the money will be well spent. Uh, I think the, uh, um, the, the, the disconnect from 
fire stations in terms of communication mm. is a huge deal in terms of life-saving activity. Yeah. I mean, if the fire stations cannot effectively communicate with each other, uh, that could cost lives. And so it's not just about money, although I suppose you could put a dollar figure on a human life. I don't know how to do that, but I am presenting this in hopes that the budget committee and the whole town that may be watching realizes that there are huge opportunities to improve our operations mm -hmm. and over time lower our costs. Yeah. But we have to put some seed money into the effort and the budget committee needs to stand firm in helping bring that money to bear and that's my speech. So I thank you for your patience. I know we had some technical difficulties earlier. I appreciate your, uh, your patience on that. Okay.